Kayla and this is my nine month old baby Wyatt. He's already getting into everything. Today we're just doing a toy haul from one of our favorite toy stores called Hapke. We've been doing our best to support our local or small businesses right now that might be struggling. So they're still open online. If you want to place an online order, I'm going to link everything down below. I'm going to do this by brand. First one we'll do is Melissa and Doug. It's still kind of wrapped up, but this is a pounding bench with little pegs and so pound the little pegs down. It says two and up. I tend to ignore that. Um, as long as nothing is a choking hazard, there's other ways your baby can use stuff rather than its intended purpose. Then I got him this little, it's called band in a box. So it's a box of instruments. There's maracas, a triangle, cymbals, a tambourine. So this says three and up, but like I said, it's not a choking hazard. I'm sure he's able right now to hold a maraca and shake that around or bang these little cymbals together. Okay this paper. I got him just an easel paper roll. He doesn't have an easel, but I'm going to let him do some finger painting. Maybe I'll tape this on the ground for him and I'll hold on to this for if we eventually get an easel. This paper can be used for anything. The next brand that they have that we really like is um, Bat Brain Toys. So when we first got this package, the thing that he wanted the most was this tiny little keychain. It's called Simple Dimple and it's just a fine motor little travel thing that they pop in and out like this. It has a spot to put it on a keychain, so I think I'm going to put this on some little toy keys for him. Yes, you want it? Here you go. Yeah. The other thing that Wyatt's holding is a bigger dimple toy. So this is the box it was in. We already opened it because he was interested. It has the same little things on it. They can pop it in and out. It's a fine motor thing. I give this to him in the car a lot. The other thing from Fat Brain Toys is um, squigs. These are little sticky things. They have suction cups. They suction together. And I think what we're gonna do with these, I'm gonna stick them on our window for him to pull off and stick them on our fridge because he loves to be in the kitchen when I'm cooking and I need to keep him busy because he's on the move now. So these will be good for that. Another brand we love, these are great. These are called Indestructibles. They're books that baby can chew on and you know try to rip and they're not gonna rip. And the illustrations are really cute inside. They're really colorful. And he's chewed on these. He's tried to rip them. They are not ripping. The other brand we like is called Haba. So this is just a little bath time set. It's a ball tracker. So it suctions onto the wall in the tub and then they can drop the ball in and watch it go down. I'll probably hold on to this until he's a little bit older because right now he's not super stable in the tub. It's still really slippery for him. The last brand, this is a new brand to the toy store and also to us. I've never heard of it until I placed my order. This is called Le Toy Van. So it's all wooden toys and it says it's sustainably made on here also. So the first thing is this little um, stacking toy and they look like vegetables. You know what? I'm going to open it up. I haven't even opened this yet. and I'm, I think I'm more excited obviously than why it is. There's two pieces for all of them. So he can mix and match them and I think it's supposed to be one of those self-correcting things like if I put this on top of here, you can kind of tell that that doesn't really uh, line up. Then this is a little popping toy. It's called Rainbow Cloud Pop. You're going to want the boxes. I know he likes the boxes. So this is another thing that's good for their fine motor because they have to actually get it into the hole. And it has a spring at the bottom. <laughs> So it kind of pops up and that can be exciting. And then it looks like they're also learning to color match because the they're all color coordinated with their little spots. So this is something for right now, he's probably just gonna take them out and that's totally fine. And then I might put it away for a little while and when he's older, bring it back out and then he'll actually be able to put them back in and color coordinate. The last thing from Lake Toy Man is a sensory shaped puzzle. So. See what I mean? Like he's doing whatever he wants with this. When he's older, he'll probably really get the idea, but for now, this is totally fine. Um, so yeah, the last thing is this multi-shaped puzzle and these are actually sensory shapes. So you probably have seen something like this for babies or uh, toddlers before with the shapes. If you go on Hapke's website, they actually have really great videos with this brand showing exactly what you're getting, but I'll show you guys too. This is what the puzzle looks like. It has color coordination and shape coordination, so they're gonna match it up, see what fits where. And what's really cool about this specific puzzle is that each shape is sensory. This one looks like it is a kaleidoscope, so they can look through that. This one is a squeaky toy. It's a little button, that's great for fine motor. This one has a bell. 
What do you think? This one, it's a mirror. I feel like it's so cool that you get the uh, sensory aspect with this puzzle. This one is a little silk piece for them to touch and the puzzle even has a little hole for that to fit into like that. This one has, um, looks like little beads that make noise. So he's gonna have so much fun just taking all these pieces out and realizing that each one does something different. This one, let's see. It might take him a little while to figure out how to maneuver this and twist it like this to have it make that noise, so that's great. And then this one has a little fuzzy spot on it. Okay, these are Wyatt's Christmas presents and I have kind of an explanation for this. So I wrapped them up for him and put them under the tree, but he was five months and I really felt like he wasn't really gonna open them up and I didn't wanna open them for him. So I'm gonna let him open them now. They're not from this order, but they are from the same toy store. I just bought them back in December. <laughs> So apparently the wrapping paper is a good enough toy on its own. This is why he ended up unwrapping. So it's a three shape puzzle. And right now he's probably just gonna take them out. I don't know if he's gonna make them back in there. It says 12 months and up. So I think an older baby, when he's a little older, he might be able to put them back if you want it. But seriously, wrap something up for your baby because it was so funny watching him unwrap these presents. So this one is just the same thing. It's just uh, instead of three different shapes, it's three different size circles. And these are both from Plan Toys, so they're wooden. And then this one he didn't make it to. I'm just gonna help him with this. So this is one more thing from Plan Toys. It's a little toy phone. So it has a little piece that he can look through right there. That might be a magnifying glass. And then these are little buttons that he can push down. That's all we have for today. I hope you got some ideas maybe on what to get for your baby and maybe just support a small business. Happy open last year. It's actually, I think it's the anniversary today of their online store. So check them out. Definitely we love them and hope you guys enjoyed.